friends, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Fort Worth Roots. <laughs> it could happen. It could happen. I don't right know. here at Pouring Glory. <laughs> a lot of historic yeah. uh, treasures in these old bricks, like the time Dustin Snyder from the Jerry Jonestown Massacre got his neck snapped. Yes. That'll right be a story here. that'll go down. And then Matt will have to continue the show without me. Oh. And then he may walk it out on himself. <laughs> That'd be weird. You can find Fort Worth Roots on all of your favorite streaming services, social media, and YouTube as Fort Worth Roots. We'll have more information about our sponsors and uh, information on events that are coming up at the end of the show. Real quick, this episode is sponsored by Roofing Solutions by Darren Houck. You can find them at Roofing solutionshalk.com or 817-882-6520 that will be in the show notes if you just want to click on that so you're, if you're driving and you weren't able to take notes uh, right now it's uh, it's always in the show notes along with all of our other awesome sponsors that have actually already paid your admission to the September 23rd event happening out at Pouring Glory benefiting Cook Children's Hospital. This year, we're going to have four bands on stage, Itchy Richie and the Burning Sensations, Cassandra Mae Laurents, Late to the Station, and Jaybirds. Uh, we'll have a pop-up market and a lot of other fun things. We've uh, also got a award show that we did last year. We're going to put it on again this year, congratulating some uh, exceptional creators inside our Fort Worth community. So check that out. September 23rd, put it on your calendars, 11 to 6. Again, that's happening out at Pouring Glory. We're ripping our way through these Pouring Glory Mixer event episodes that we did. We recorded with so many people. And today is another part of that series um, where we take one of the amazing creators that came out to uh, support the event, sat down with them, and had a little conversation. This gentleman has been on the show before, and we've been on his show plenty of times before as well. Thank you all for being here. And please give it up for our good friend and the host of the Jerry Jonestown Massacre podcast, one of the largest and longest running podcasts inside North Texas, Mr. Dustin Snyder. And let's start the show. I parked out here, so I didn't come around this way. Yeah. No. Oh, I, I'm a big fan of the back door, so I, I I like to come in the back door. You know, there's I'm not going to drop any names, but I've heard this from some people that you really do enjoy coming into the back door. And I usually come in the back door of places like this. When you're called pouring glory, it's always good to come in the back door. Yeah. And it all, all right. Works that so way. we need to talk about. You know what? Okay. Hello, I'm, Fort Worth. I'm I'm pissed. <laughs> I want to talk to you about this. I'm pissed. You pissed. And I'm mad as hell, and I don't have to take it anymore. Why is that? Okay. I need one of these flashy Zach. I got the old Zachary. Zach. Hello, my name is Zachary. Check it out on all the things. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's why I'm pissed. There was a huge day in Jerry Jonestown Massacre history, an mm -hmm. event that will go down in infamy. I marked it on my TikTok. I don't know if you saw that video. It's a really weird I one. I don't use TikTok that much. But well, okay. anyway, there's what? a video I made, and I just left it on TikTok because okay. I didn't want to start any shit. I didn't want anybody going, oh, no, what's this? And TikTok is pretty abstract. So I made this video where it shows the Jerry Jonestown Massacre flag upside down and on fire, and I used audio from Big Ben. I slowed it down three, three times, mm -hmm. so it sounds like the depths of hell, the voices are clamoring, the, the flames are coming up, the Jerry Jonestown flag is on fire. I'm so confused right now. Well, anyway, I did it to mark a particular event in Jerry Jonestown Massacre history. And what was it? The walkout, man. The great walkout. Oh, the walkout. Yeah. And I don't care if you the want to talk out. about it or not. Um, oh, I'll, I'll I, talk about I, it. I need to talk about it. I I'm, need to, for me. I, I'm not the half of the host that doesn't want to talk about it, apparently. Because <laughs> well, I'm also wondering what the hell happened. It, Which, <laughs> like, I understand everybody gets aggravated and upset every once in a while, and you get... You get to the point to where you're so frustrated and freaking out about things, and you get in your own head, and you, you get anxious, the anxiety kicks in, and you just, you know, there's probably shit that happened earlier that day, you don't want to be there, you yeah. don't want to be talking about things, 
Well, and, and somebody and made the erupt. statement. They were like, I can't believe it. I mean, he just got married. We just went to Big Ben. And I'm like, yeah, no, all that adds to that stress. The dude just had a huge life event. Meh. Okay, fine. I but, don't know. Ask Matt. Uh, it's... I've tried to get him to come out and talk about. Well, that's the thing. We like need. What I'm not and even. I think he. I don't think he's comfortable with it. I'm not mad that it happened. I'm mad that we're not. We we never addressed it. We did the next week. Did on not the week of. Not the week that we just came back because all that the way it actually worked out was Matt sent me a message like Monday night and is like, "Hey, I'll come back tomorrow. It's all cool. You know, if you're cool with it. Okay, whatever. You know." You guys are so toxic masculine bros. And then he came over and everything was just like normal. And I kept, if you listen to that show, I kept leaving openings for him to talk about it. I kept leaving oh, I into know. things. I know. But and nothing. And then the next week I was like, dude, everybody's pissed at us because we didn't talk about it. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. And it'd be like if the people from the submarine that just went down show up next week and they're like, hey, um, uh, on on this particular date, we're going to take another sub down to the Titanic, and they never talk about look the fact that the Titan the the fucking submarine blew up. You're chastising the wrong person. I'm not. Listen, you need to go after him. <laughs> you got his number. Call him up. You may see him tonight. Well, here's if the, you roll over. Here, here's the thing. I uh, I reached out to Matt, and I I I sent him a very sincere text. Uh, through the Instagram saying, hey, man, I, I care about you. I hope everything's okay. Love you, brother. Something to that effect. Yeah. And I never got anything back. Did you send it to JJTM Instagram? or It was JJTM <laughs> stuff. Yeah, okay. yeah um, I don't know. I, don't I, know. I try not to be a high-class hoe or a, a needy bitch, but uh, I, I needy Matt to say something back. I needed it. I needy. You got I needy, his I needy phone, it real phone bad. number, right? Do yeah. I? I don't think I do, actually. Oh, you could text no. him. No. Go after him. Okay, you get him. I will. You know what? Have you know him what do a do? solo show with you. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go from the side. I'm gonna holler at Mandy and be like, "Hey, what the hell?" We, there you go. That's what you do. <laughs> That's now, the move. Now he's got someone you can, That's, you know, that really start some shit. Yeah, you can, you can be like, "Hey, what's the deal with Matt?" She'd be like, "What? What's going on?" Okay, okay, okay. So we're anyway. over that. We're yeah. over that. All right. You can, you can calm down. So yeah, <laughs> here at the event, I haven't adopted a dog yet. You shall, sir. On this day, you I will take tomorrow. down. You will take home a new doggy. I might tomorrow. I might not. What? Um, it's not happening tomorrow. No, there's one across the street. It's the case. Oh, tomorrow. that's right. That's right. Another big one. So uh, I'm gonna come out and check it out. I gotta do some business down here on the south side. So I'll come over here and check it out. But yeah, this is a good, this is a cool little event. At least you're inside. Power's only gone off once. Well, we got the battery pack now, Yeah, got which the we had pack. before, but yeah. I was not concerned about the power issue. Met your lovely lady for the first time? Megan. Yeah. Just sitting here over your shoulder, mm -hmm. watching you. She's like watching you, actually. Watching. If she you. needs to snap your neck, she'll do it. That's probably what it is. She's probably <laughs> watching over here to make sure I'm not going to get uh, violent. I don't know if she hears this or not. You hear us talking shit? He was, he was saying, you're watching me like a hawk. I said, no, she's watching you. If she needs to, she'll snap your neck. <laughs> it could happen. It could happen. I don't right know. here at Pouring Glory. <laughs> a lot of historic yeah. uh, treasures in these old bricks. Like the time Dustin Snyder from the Jerry Jonestown Massacre got his neck snapped. Yes. That'll right be a story here. that'll go down. And then Matt will have to continue the show without me. Oh. And then he may walk it out himself. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be weird. <laughs> Just hit stop. <laughs> I've had enough. Dunk. I don't know. You know what? I'm fucking bored. And he just ends it. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Done. Over. You go jerk off in a bush. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Love you, Matt. So who all of you He's had never going to hear this? We've had Let's pretend this is wrap-up time. Okay. Uh, wrap-up time? Okay. Yeah, okay. this is... You, oh, you want this at the end? No, no, no. Like you're just that. You're, you're giving a... Uh, what do they call it? A... Uh, Hey, since you're such a bad you're door man, about, we'll, yeah. we'll put you uh, in the caboose of the episode. How about that? All right. Yeah. No one listens there, so that'll be good. Okay. So we uh, we started with a gentleman from a, an investment group that... Um, so what he does is he connects the investor with local farmers here in like the DFW area. Uh -huh. And then abroad, he has other... Anyway. Whoa. So if you want to... What do broads have to do with this? What kind of broads? I don't know. Kind of broads. I like to go swimming with bow-legged women and swim between their legs. Where do you come up with this shit? That was from Mash. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Anyway, so we had that gentleman on. Uh, great episode. And then we rolled right into... God, I should have written this stuff down. How much have you had to drink? This is uh, number two or number three. I can't remember. And we're not through 65 days yet. I can't even remember. I can't remember what I'm happened I'm going to go 65 days without drinking and being good and working out. D- uh, well, how are you doing? Doing great. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Which gym are you using? Uh, my own. <laughs> My work truck at work. I have had a drink with down. you at a particular uh, wedding party. Oh yeah, 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 that was like my excuse for the weekend. <laughs> that didn't count because the wedding it doesn't count. I'm still. Hey, if you're gonna put me on blast, I'm gonna put you on. <laughs> on the wagon. No caffeine. <laughs> reduced okay. carbs. That's reduced a- wheat. Because I figured something out. What did you find out? <sighs> I don't really want to sound like one of these pansies, but apparently, I guess suddenly I have a gluten allergy. Dude, and I so used to make fun of people that had gluten allergies, and now I'm one of them. Megan has a gluten al- allergy, and it's it it gets to the point to where I'm gassy out of both ends, like burping and stuff. Like it just gets in my stomach and just starts, I guess, trying to make beer. Yeah, and it starts like I need, you know, there's some to be degassed. There. Yeah, but. Uh, my mom brought it up a couple of weeks ago. She's like, I was telling her about certain things. I was like, I've stopped drinking Cokes. I've stopped drinking this. I've stopped doing this. I've stopped drinking beer. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, but I'm still like yeah. getting gassy after weird stuff. She goes, you may have a gluten allergy. And I was like, what? Those people are stupid. <laughs> gluten allergies. They're just a bunch of pansies that don't know how to work their body. <laughs> and I'm going to have one. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, the more I hear about it now that uh, I'm with somebody that has a gluten allergy, it's uh, it's something that probably is an issue for most people. Yeah. And they just don't know it. Well, here's what I want to do. Because I really noticed, I had some pasta the other night uh, from a place here in town. And it set me off. Like, really, I was real, my stomach was just churning. And it, it's nothing ever anything gross. It's just like, you got to... And burp and release. Yeah. And I was like, but it's miserable. Like, you just sit there miserable. You feel like you're full. You feel like you're getting bloated right, and everything's right. blowing up. And, you know, I just want to stab my belly and let it all out. That'd be crazy. But I want to see if I have pasta or like a spaghetti or something made with Italian pasta, mm-hmm. not American pasta. Right. If there's a difference. Get them carbs or the gluten out of there. Well, Monsanto. Oh, then Monsanto I wonder people. if all the crap they get put are, are in our gonna, wheat and our stuff. Are you going to take on every conspiracy all at once? Well, I've always had a thing against Monsanto because I've seen them do stuff and I've seen them kill farms. Yeah. But I would... I don't know. I wonder if it's like... Hey, there's Ryan. Look I, at that nerd. What's he got there? Is that a bottle of water? We got water here, dude. But I've never had... When I go overseas and I eat breads and pasta, I never have a problem. Yeah. But when I'm back here, now that I'm starting to think things out... Well, Monsanto or not, if you take... like, Let's just say we're looking at a box of Cheez-Its from Nabisco. Yeah. And you're in the U.S. and you get another box from the U.K. If you compare the ingredients that are in the oh, box, it's completely different. The, the UK version has about half the ingredients, and the reason is that through lobbyists and bills getting passed, and the FDA and the f- whatever, all these different people have made laws that say if you're going to have a packaged item, it has got to have a certain percentage of this preservative in it. Now, why would you do that? Well, because money, shelf life, and money. money. Yeah. Money. I mean, most of the stuff you eat is probably a month or two old anyway, besides, like, you know, your meats and stuff, your meats and vegetables. But, like, the stuff you, the pasta you pull off and the rice you pull off a shelf at a grocery store, that shit's probably six months or older. Yeah. Because it's got to be able to survive. Get through the logistical process. Whereas over there, there's not as, it's, it's not bulk food like it is here. Here, there's a lot of bulk food. Over there, you know, there's only a couple of boxes of pasta sitting on the shelf yeah. instead of it being, you know, 80 boxes in, in the entire fucking aisle. Walmart. Yeah. You know, sitting on top of crates. Anyway, so I'm experimenting. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. This 65 days thing has made me become in tune with my body. Yeah. And I'm that's starting good. to figure things out and put things together and see. 
um, how things work. I need to get back on that bandwagon, and I need to take it seriously this time. We got back from Yellowstone. <laughs> Yellowstone. Got, Yellowstone. We got Yellowstone. back from Yellowstone. We got back from Big Ben, and uh, life just lifed its ass off. Mm -hmm. And so dealing I've with been that. been nonstop. Big Ben was supposed to be a marker for me to slow down, and it didn't happen. No. It got way worse. Yes. And now I just want to... Uh, <laughs> Stab your belly sleep. and let all the air out. And stab my belly and let all the air out. <laughs> sleep and uh, stack. stack. So stack, stack, going stack, stacking stack, tonight. Stack, stack, stack. I'm going to stack hard. Man, that sounds great. What time are you done here? We're going to close up, uh, I want to say about 9. Where are you all going to be at 9? Over at Suzanne's. Oh, that's right. For the the Jeff Lord's wife's birthday. Yeah, we can talk about it because you won't put this out. No. no. Yeah, it's like a little year. surprise birthday thing going on, so we're gonna go over there. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all should come over and make it make an appearance. Okay. I'm sure we'll be going till. I'm about to have uh, Brian Breckenridge on some half-ass comedian. You got any uh, questions no. that I should ask? I ask him all the questions. I just like texting Brian. <laughs> why is how does grass grow? <laughs> How does la 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 la? That's Brian's a good guy. You'll have fun. I like his comedy. We caught a show. He's a good very dude. Very funny. Very very good dude. Well, I get out of here. Thank you so much for no coming. Problem, no problem. No problem. I know you had shit to do today, and you still I did. made it. Shot effort. a shot four music videos this morning, and still made it here. Is that a goddamn cat on the table? On a leash. <laughs> anyway, get uh, get um, get Brian on here. He'll he'll explain it all. And he's got cat jokes. All right. All right. Let's I'm out of here. I love you. Later. Thank you. Love you, dude. Later. A huge thank you to today's guest. Thank you for coming out to this Mixer event and recording with us. We're going to do more of these in the future. We invite the entire DFW community out to these mixers. Give them the opportunity to meet other people, sit down and record with us, talk about what their project's been up to, what they've been up to with their projects, and uh, maybe a little bit about their business or their show or whatever else. It's a mixer. Figure it out. Whatever you want to do. But thank y'all sincere. We, we had a lot of people show up for this, and it, it was one of those things. That we were trying to test this out and just see if it was something people would want to do. And we got our answer. We had a whole bunch of folks show up, a lot of cool cats and kittens. So anyway, we're going to do it again. This time we're going to do it at McFly's Pub. Nothing's been set up yet. Still got to talk to Casey over there. If you do go to McFly's Pub, tell Casey you heard about him on the show. That I don't mean like that's the first time you went in there and it's because of me that you went in there uh but you did hear about him just now you heard about mcfly's <laughs> so tell him tell him next time do it for me do it for the show uh yeah anyway we'll do another mixer if you miss this one no biggie uh we'll keep doing them as long as you guys keep showing up for them so anyway thanks everybody that came out all right, um, September 23rd, out at Pouring Glory, we are going to be doing the big show, the big event. We did it last year. We're doing it again. Last year, we had 250 people show up uh, whenever, uh, at best count, it was at least that many. We want to try to double that this year, and this is why you need to come out this year. Uh, four bands. We're going to have Itchy Richie and the Burning Sensation, uh, Cassandra May Laurence, Late to the Station, and Jaybirds, all playing for you. Oh, by the way, did I mention this has been paid for? Your admission has already been covered by our wonderful sponsors, who we'll talk about here in just a minute. There's going to be a vendor market, a special food men menu that Scott's putting together out there at Pouring Glory. It's going to be a great day. Last year was so much fun. Um, it really legitimately was just a big old party, and uh, we had a great time. So we'd love for you to come out this year. Help us support Cook Children's Hospital help us celebrate uh, another year of podcasting and just get to see a bunch of awesome people. There's going to be another award show. There was an award show last year where we uh, congratulated a bunch of podcasters. We've got some, uh, some more interesting award categories this year. So you're not going to want to miss this. You might even be getting an award. If you're listening to this, you might very well be one of the people that's getting an award. <laughs> So anyway, uh, yeah, September 23rd starts at 11, goes until 6, and more details will be on the Facebook event. It gives me the option to post stuff as we update information. So go to Facebook, tell the event thingy that you're either interested or going, 
and then it will let you know every time we update it with more information. And uh, if you don't know already, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, and all the streaming services. Just look for Fort Worth Roots. You already knew that. Our email also is media at Fort Worth Roots. All this information will be in the show notes, so you don't have to be taking notes. Speaking of not taking notes, sponsor time. Go check out our friends at Cowtown Nutrition. They're located at 5430 River Oaks Boulevard. They offer a healthy alternative to that compulsory fast food craving. You can also load up on your favorite Herbalife products and learn about their fitness groups that they hold on location at Cowtown Nutrition. Check them out on Instagram at Cowtown underscore nutrition. Pouring Glory, where the big event's going to be at, 1001 uh, Bryan Avenue, Fort Worth, Texas, just off South Main Street. Pouring Glory is a growler refilling station that serves craft beer and award-winning food with live music. They've got a very impressive outdoor area. Take advantage of Dog Park Sunday, 11 to 4, I think. Take your fur babies, oh, excuse me, take your fur babies off of their collar and let them run around and socialize with the other fur babies. Body Machine Fitness, 2300 West 7th Street in Fort Worth, Texas. They offer a truly one-of-a-kind fitness experience. Your first class has already been paid for. Go to bodymachinefitness.com to schedule your first high-energy cardio strength group fitness class with best-in-industry trainer, cutting-edge audio and lighting. Show up early or stay after the class for the IR sauna and nutritious snacks in the lobby. I've been going here for a while. Uh, I just recently went on vacation down to Gulf Shores, uh, and uh, we had a great time, but we're having trouble getting back on the bandwagon. (laughs) We were killing it. We were going to Body Machine Fitness twice a week. We were feeling great, and uh, we could tell a difference in our physique. Our bodies are tightening up, and it just, I don't know, it's great. It's uh, And it's not miserable. I've done classes. I've been to the gym. I've been doing this my whole life, and it's not always fun. But Body Machine Fitness, they keep it very energetic, very fun, and it's just it's a good energy uh, as people know what they're doing. So anyway, like I said in the little read there, your first – class is paid for you just go to bodymachinefitness.com uh click on the tab schedule your first uh high energy cardio strength group fitness class and uh, you pick a date date and time that works for you and then if you want us to go with you there's two of us now here at the fort worth roots uh body machine fitness uh workout club that i just made up anyway we will go with you hit me up media at fortworthroots.com and uh just tell me what you're planning on doing and we'll work out a day to go with you Uh uh-huh uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. McFly's Pub, 6104 LTJG, Barnett Road, Fort Worth, Texas. Just put it in your navigation. McFly's Pub. It's a 1980s Back to the Future themed bar with a very impressive outdoor area, fire pit. You can hang out with your buddies. You can bring some friends for pool, dart, cornhole, jumbo, Jenga. Uh, you can catch a live show. Every Tuesday, Tommy Luke's out there doing an open mic night. That's always fun to do. And uh, if you run into Casey, the owner there, tell him you heard about it, McFly's on the Fort Worth Roots podcast. Will he give you something for it? I don't know. Probably not. But he'll be like, oh, cool. I listen to that show too. Wood Post Metalworks. Wood Post Metalworks. You can get uh, 10% off using offer code PODCAST817. They specialize in metal signs with or without LED backlighting, fence and gate repair, or installation, light steel fabrication, industrial plasma cutting, and more. Hawkwalker Originals, you can go to hawkwalker.com. They offer a huge variety of unique and personalized gifts, also laser engraving, uh, to customize just about anything you can think of. Again, that's hawkwalker.com. And those two right there, if you got an anniversary, birthday, Christmas, whatever, you got something coming up where you need to buy somebody a, a unique, thoughtful gift, Holler at these people. Tell them what your uh, idea is, and they'll make it for you. Uh, Hulk Walker uh, Originals is really good about taking an item and customizing it for you. Woodpost Metalworks is really excellent at taking an idea and then making it out of steel. So there's some options for you. All right, Roofing Solutions by Darren Houck. These folks have been taking care of the Fort Worth Roots podcast for a very long time, and they can take care of you too. They'll even give you 50% off just by mentioning the Fort Worth Roots podcast uh, for a roofing tune-up. That's when they get on your roof, they check all the pipe jacks and vents and make sure that the sealant around them 
is uh, covered. They're also going to identify any other damages, and they're not up there trying to find more things to charge you with. In fact, if they find more damage than what the uh, roofing tune-up will cover, they come down off the roof, they'll show you the pictures, and you won't owe them a thing uh, for that roofing tune-up. They'll stop work immediately, come on down, show you the pictures, and then if you need help working through the uh, insurance process, they got you. 817-882-6520. Get more information at roofingsolutionshauk.com. Uh, and again, this is all in the show notes. Also, you can find me posting about these people all the time on our social media pages. Uh, that's just Fort Worth Roots on all of it. All right. Who else? Who else do we need to talk about today? That's it, man. That's all of our sponsors. If you think you'd like to sponsor the show, you can hit me up, media at fortworthroots.com. I think that's it, folks. September 23rd, we would love to see you out there. Like I said, it's going to be uh, supporting a great cause. Um, I personally have... I do not have children myself, but I have friends, and some of my friends have kids. And some of my friends and their kids have had to spend some time up there at Cook uh, Children's Hospital. And I cannot brag on these people enough. The reason that that's our uh, charity that we decided that we wanted to work with, uh, we just picked one, right? But th there's a reason we picked this one. Because I've seen what they do for the families. I've seen how hard they work to not only treat these children, but make sure that they're comfortable. Uh, they, they cater as much to their emotional side as they do their physical side. I'm going to get choked up if I talk about this too much. But uh, they're, these people are doing incredible work. And you're not necessarily supporting them. You're supporting the children and their families and making sure that that... Uh, that can continue. These families can't always pay for the treatment that these kids get. And uh, there's there's a lot of other stuff. And I'm going to try to do a social media video, just a real quick uh, informational video uh, from somebody up there at Cook Children's. Uh, trying to work that out. Started that process today. We'll see if we can get something uh, sorted. But uh, just have somebody intelligently talk about it rather than me just babbling about uh, thoughts and feelings. So anyway, it's going to be a good... Good, uh, good day out there. Uh, September 23rd, I ordered 88 degree weather, uh, partly cloudy with a nice mm, 8 mile an hour, 10 mile an hour, 8 mile an hour gusting to 10 mile an hour uh, breeze out of the north. It's going to be a great day. So come check it out and uh, I will keep you informed. Like I said, go to the Facebook page, click on the event for the uh, 23rd, September 23rd. And then as more information comes out, we'll make sure that you know all about it. It's going to be a big one. Okay, that is enough talking out of me. Thank you all so much for listening to this episode, and we will see you next week. Peace. Peace.